Hey guys, um, it's Sunday and poor Julian has to work today because of the storm again. So he just left, it's like 7.40 or something and normally I don't make like a fancy breakfast but I actually slept um, and baby's sleeping in the bouncer down here. Hello. Um, yep, her eyes are closed, we're good. So I actually was gonna do something good for breakfast. Um, so first of all, I have to take pictures and then I'm gonna upload it but I'm starting off with Faro. This is actually a really good um, carb. Like if you're going to use carbs, um, I always recommend you try to stick, stay away from things that are processed. Well, this is very lightly processed. It's called Faro. Um, it's a grain and if you can see it, it looks very natural. It's not like, you know, your, for example, like your boxed instant potatoes or your white rice and things like that. Uh, I recommend if you do a carb, you try to stick to the most natural things as possible so it, it it's just better for you so this i was actually recommended to try um it's called farro and i've had it it's really good it kind of has like a rice substance to it um it's chewy it's not like quinoa or anything like that i'm not a fan of quinoa but i want to start eating it more um it's kind of funny i was always just like completely away stayed away from carbs like processed carbs okay obviously everything that you eat has carbs in it there's sugars and carbs and all that kind of stuff. But we've kind of been brought up that no carbs, no sugar, it's all bad for you. But you actually need sugar. Um, it's how your brain works. Um, you need carbs because you need energy. But you want to use healthy carbs, ones that digest well and that are clean and better for you and don't make you lethargic and all that kind of jazz and make you spike and then go down. Um, so I was recommended farro and I, I actually really like it. Um, there's no flavor to it. You can season it just like a rice or a pasta or anything like that. But again, it's really straightforward and I was reading it and it's very lightly processed. Um, so what I'm doing for breakfast is kind of like almost like a grain bowl. So first what I did was I did it. This, this is two third cups of farro. It's a lot. I probably won't even eat all this. I'm using my selfie stick, which is really fucking annoying. Okay. Well there's, and then I just boiled it with water, threw some salt in it like you would rice or pasta or something, right? Now, what I have next going on is I'm going to do, I have one, <laughs> I ran out of eggs. I only have one egg. So I'm going to do one egg, and then I'm sauteing onions and tomatoes in the pan. I also have some scallions, some um, more onions, so I'm just doubling up on onions. So I'm going to be sauteing the vegetables, and then I'm going to literally just throw in my egg. Okay, and I'm going to crack, oh, can I even do this on camera? I am not a chef. Can I do this? Let's see if I can do it. Oh shit, I just did it one-handed. Okay, it's not as pretty as like a chef does, but whatever. Fuck everybody, I'm a chef, God damn it. You all are. Okay, so, and um, I'm actually, I'm gonna throw like probably like a little bit of milk in this. I know you're supposed to like, you know, when you do like scrambled eggs, you're supposed to, you know, like whisk it. I'm making a video, so I'm not. And it's gonna just turn out just fine, guys. It's gonna be okay if you don't whisk it. But um, I'm gonna throw actually a little bit of almond milk. I have unsweetened, well, I have only vanilla. All right, I'm gonna use a little half and half. That's not the best, okay, for you, but just use a splash of it just to cream it up. Okay, and again, I sauteed. I'm just gonna put a little splash, okay? It's not gonna kill me. I put it in my coffee every day. I'm trying to cut out a lot of dairy if I can, but that's not always the case, okay? So I'm doing a little scrambled egg with my sauteed onion and tomato. I'm going to top it off with some scallions. Um, and oh, and I have an avocado that I'm going to throw in there too. Okay. So scrambling up the egg. Let's boost this fucker going here. Burr, burr, burr. It's my first time cooking with a selfie stick, but it still means I have one hand. But it's funny as you become a mother or a father, you have to work with one hand a lot. Um, I'm a righty, so the baby's always in my left arm. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have this like massive arm muscle on my left hand and then I'm gonna be like, it's gonna be dead and droopy on the right because I don't carry a 12 pound baby or it's gonna keep getting heavier and heavier. I mean, she's not gonna stay 12 pounds. She's gonna keep getting heavier. I mean, I could stop feeding her, but that's not good. You know, you're not supposed to not feed babies because you want them to stay thinner. You know, it's just frowned upon. Anyways, but um, so, all right, scrambling this mofo up. So what I'm gonna do, I'll take some pictures at the end. I'm learning how to do that and then like attach to a video and whatever. And then, by the way, subscribe to my YouTube. I really need your guys' help. Um, I actually just recently partnered with somebody in the Florida area and him and I are going to be working together and he's gonna help me with the technical stuff. And I'm gonna be more of, you know, doing my videos and my blog posts, but he's gonna help me 
make things look a lot better because um, I'm just not very tech savvy. So be patient. Please subscribe to my YouTube. It's called The Clean Fork. Um, until I have 100 subscribers, I don't have like a beautiful URL yet. So it's like this big, long fucking thing that you got to click on. But just, just search The Clean Fork. I would love that. I have like 12 subscribers right now. So it'd be really great to get them up. Um, follow me on Instagram as well at Tracy underscore J, J A Y underscore H of Ari. If you guys know me, obviously you just follow it. That'd be really great. Like my pictures. I'm um, really trying to um, get this business up and running. I'm trying to collaborate with other companies with their products and stuff. It's a work in progress, but it's really exciting. Um, and it's something I've been wanting to do for a really long time. And now I can focus since I'm home. Um, on this business. But anyways, okay, I'm gonna show you the aftermath. There's my scrambled eggs with my pep, my um, onions and tomatoes. My farro's sitting there. I'm just gonna throw it all together. That's a really healthy breakfast. Um, I know people don't usually have time to do something like that in the morning. You can do this at night. Throw it in the fridge, and then the next day, heat it up in the microwave and eat it, or take it to work and heat it up when you're, eat, you're at work. So it's something healthy. It'll give you energy, because you got the farro in there, which is a really, really healthy carb. Um, it's great for you, and so you don't feel guilty. Well, I don't, I don't feel guilty. And um, we have the one one egg, and then you throw whatever veggies you want. If you don't want veggies, don't put them in there. Just use the farro and the egg, um, and uh, that's it. So I'll send some pictures to you guys. Please subscribe to my page again. Um, I do have a blog that I'm working on as well. It's called thecleanfork.org, or you can actually www.thecleanfork.org. Again, that's under construction. There's like four posts that I made and, and I'm working on things and I'm trying to upload articles and things I've written in the past. Um, and if you could subscribe to that too, I, just a click. Um, if anyone can help, that'd be wonderful. Uh, I hope you guys all had a really good weekend and anybody that's in that Michael area that I, I hope you're all safe and everything's good. Ciao. All right, so this is the aftermath of my farro breakfast bowl. I definitely, this is two-third cup of um, farro, one egg scrambled with a little bit of creamer, sautéed onion and tomato, some salt and pepper, and a half of an avocado. I didn't do the whole one, but the only thing is, is you got to eat this rest of it to, today or it's going to go to fucking shit. So I'm going to eat it on toast probably in a couple hours. Um... And uh, yeah, this is the aftermath. I, I put, again, some salt and pepper. You can season it with adobo or whatever kind of stuff you want. Um, it looks tasty, dude. And this is, again, a lot of, like for a tooth, it's like a, like I said, a two-thirds cup. Like this is a cup. Like you think that's not a lot, but then you heat it up. It's a lot. Um, anyways, turned out really, really good. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat it. And um, a great breakfast idea or a dinner idea you don't have, obviously you don't have to use egg. You can use whatever you want. You can throw chicken in there. You can just do vegetarian and do all types of vegetables sauteed and it's a lot of flavor. Um, just check it out. It's really great. And again, it's Farro, F-A-R-R-O. Um, awesome carb to eat if you're going to choose.